Beneath the mountain and the town of Duyar lived the strangest of the creators. Shinna al Shinna called herself the mistress of the swarm, and the insects were her obedient children. The scouts report Shinna's refuge is often plagued by ghouls. The corpse eaters are after Shinna's refuse, flesh and bones. Every night at dusk they come crawling out of their holes. If we're clever, we'll use that time frame for an attack. Why wait until they're prepared? Go down there and drive the ghouls from their holes. We'll storm the mountain immediately. If this day couldn't get any worse, all hells are breaking loose. Guard the gate, and get the damn man-eater back into his cage! What did the ogre say? Exactly what it sounded like. Let him live and help us.
Black Auger fighting on my side. Whatever next. Shina al Shina was known for collecting the eyes of her enemies, but Cassia's burning gaze made her anxious. She debated whether to make peace or to unleash her winged children. In her madness, she decided to do both. We have guests, Shinna. Don't you want to welcome them? Our guests should feel at home. Our guests should die. Bring me their pretty eyes. Shh! Silent. Our young sister has to learn about diplomacy. Welcome, strangers. We serve the thousandfold life. We do not love blood. Let us have peace. <laughs> a pact between a spider and a fly. The spider has no pact with its food. Come down here and fight! No! Too young to die! Too innocent to kill! Maybe we can provoke her somehow! So much blood! What did we do to you? No, not this one! A radiant beauty like yourself shouldn't be a diplomat. She should remain mysteriously silent. Shinner is beautiful. 
I am ugly. Don't say that. No, don't say that, Shinna. You've got very beautiful hair. Well, that didn't help us. Down your weapons! Nobody will hurt you! We'd have a better chance with one of the other Shinners. Come here! I want to see if there's red blood flowing in your veins. No! Please! No blood! Calm down, Shinner! We have to remain unshaken! No blood! No blood! Ah! Calm down, Shinner! I'll lead the negotiations now! Poison! Damn viper! No, you stay here, Shinner. <laughs> oh dear, the dwarf has opened his mouth. What? Eh? Dwarfs are so common and ordinary. That's the same. Ordinary and common are the same. Shh, silence. Too many voices. Shinna! I'd very much like to see whether the rumors are true. Rumors? But your eyes are much prettier than those of your sisters. That's what they say, isn't it? Shh! Silent! Be silent now! Are we being flattered again? I'll do the talking from now on.
My children know what to do. They're just far too slow about it. Why are we even talking to her? She doesn't even... Yes, yes, enough talk! Bring me their eyes! This is useless. This melody tames Shinna's insects.
After she had the laboratories destroyed, Cassia sent Shinna's head to Marwan. The first Kyrios raged once again, but this time he was also secretly relieved. One less enemy, he thought. A band of prisoners. They said it was a small band of prisoners. How is this even possible? The Corapia cannot take Mengbilla. The city is simply too big. But maybe she should. Maybe she's earned it. Maybe she always was so, so good. Look at Franya's head, your eminence. Do you still believe that? This, this is only war. What we do at war doesn't count. I did similar things when I crushed the guilds. See, this is no question of good or evil, but one of self-defense. Self-defense? Yes. Yes, you're right, Haseki. Call all available fighters into the city. Let the creatures starve. We'll unroll the golden carpet from Hycassia. And then... Then... Sahib. How may I? Any program? Patient. Mister. You won't get not as long. You're a terribly curious woman. I like that. Do you want to know why Marwan put you in that dungeon? Why has been abolished, Riz. 
Shinna breeds whole hordes of insects below the mountain, and the leapers of Ticates have also been spotted there. Marwan has ordered several hell organs from the creators for the security of the city. Mistress, if Riz were in your position, he'd keep far away from that place. I think you misunderstand our objective, Riz. What do the people say? Oh, everyone adores. Maggots come creeping from their holes like Mishkara's swarm. Should we stamp them out? So much. so much blood. It has to be. What is it this time? Refugees. For a fleeing foe, build a golden bridge. Those who keep themselves from you rob you. We'll make it quick and painless. Good. Then go. And run! You're in the way. Run! Like to Leon Melavol. Came of Talion. A saint. A dead saint. <laughs> You're no saint. You didn't even vanish in a flash of light. Will I turn to light when my time comes? I will. Ah, filthy dog! Everything wants to flee. In my cell, nothing can flee. But out here, they all want to run away. We must take them by the scruff and beat them to death. I know now. I'm no light bringer. I'm the sainted evil. I bring silence. I am evil. So she can be good.
As she did every night, Cassia Corapia sat sleepless before her tent. But tonight, flames and screams tore at the comforting dark. Cassia returned to her tent, shivering. Mistress, what do they know? Oh, what does she want now? She wants you to tell her a story. A story? Doesn't have to be long. The son of Kamaluk does not know any story. Tell her a bloody story. <sighs> All right. The story of Mata Mata, an old legend of my tribe. Isna Indi is the quickest hunter of the Napewana, but he knows one day he will die. So he goes to my father, the great god Kamaluk, in his hunting lodge at the end of the forest. Kamaluk speaks to Isna Indi and says, Feed my jaguar, Matamata. Mata. As long as you feed Matamata, Mata, you shall be immortal. But if Matamata Mata starves, you shall die anew, every single day, until the end of time. And so, he feeds Matamata. The jaguar eats all the berries Isna Inti's tribe has collected. He eats all the venison Isna Inti's tribe has hunted. And Matamata grows until he is as big as Isna Inti's hut. When all the food is gone, Matamata eats all the brothers and sisters of Isna Inti. Then he eats Isna Inti's wife. And then he eats all his children, until only Isna Inti's little son is left. Then finally, Isna Inti stops feeding Matamata. And he takes his knife and cuts open the great jaguar's belly. But there's nothing there. Not Isna Inti's brothers and sisters. Not his wife. Not his children. Mata Mata's belly is empty. And since then, Isna Inti dies every single day. See? Seems she liked your story. I can't shake you, can I? As Silem Horas said, those who give up before being beaten will bury themselves alive and make friends with maggots. This cleverness! I'm melting! You're a hard woman, Niobe. I've got some wits, that's all. Unlike everyone else here, Cassia is obviously insane. And with the melodies in her hands, someone has to do something, or she'll drag us all down. And by someone you mean me. 
Just think of what we could create with those melodies. We? Well, you'll probably need help. There's reasons for there never being only one creator. I'll talk to Cassia. Will you give her the recipe for the remedy? What for? Let her rot! I've been thinking. Congratulations. About the melodies of the creators. If, gods forbid, something were to happen to you... You're wondering who would inherit these abominations. It's a heavy burden, but I'd carry it for you, if you want me to, mistress. And what do I get in return? Let's just say it would breathe new life into my flagging motivation. You shall have them. You won't get anything for not as long as... Any news? Riz. Mystery. Sahiba. Call me when Nayabi is ready to talk. Nayobi will talk, Sahiba. As soon as we showed her the screws and the scissors, she gave in. We made sure she'd tell us the truth. Spare me the details. Mistra? Nayabi, why do you exist? Why didn't you die in the labyrinth? I didn't want it to come to this. Nobody, nobody was supposed to suffer. But you left me with no other choice. Tell me the last ingredient and I'll send for a healer. Nefer's toadstools. The last ingredient is Nefer's toadstools. And where do they grow? They don't. They're made. Esod the necromancer produces them. But he only sells to people he trusts. Thank you. Where does this necromancer live? So, it's 30 toadstools. 30, yes. Thank you, son of nobody, for reminding me yet again. Yeah, which just seems a lot to me, you know, for a single antidote. Is my life not worth the hassle?
Who's there? I'm just saying, maybe Niobe's hatching some plan. Maybe. Don't you have some monsters to slay? My anger!
Oh, we must have 30 by now. All right, let's get out of here. Since Cassia returned from her expedition, foul-smelling smoke had risen from her tent every night. The mercenaries were curious, but the Silent Legion would not ask questions. Where do the signs lead us today? The Great Moor opens. We are on the right path, Sahiba, but Kor wishes for more blood. Our god loves simple patterns. More signs, more blood. More blood, more bloody signs. What if those signs aren't even from Kor? What if a demon is sending them? Do not doubt, Sahiba. Doubt drags us into the abyss. Do you ever question Kor's plans? Every day. Sometimes it all seems wrong to me. Why? Why am I Kor's brutal tool? You were no stranger to haunting questions either. And how do you make them disappear? I take a knife and cut my skin. As soon as the blood flows, my thoughts are pure again. I now understand you, Sahiba. I doubt that. We can no longer turn back. The abyss is following us, and if we stop, we will fall. I think something is wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm mad. Or finally sane. I don't understand the signs anymore. It's never too late to take another path. You know that's not true. We will win, or we will be damned. Tend to her wounds and let her go. 